And I want to go down with Cypress sins. Want to be washed clean of all my sins. Some call it heaven, but I call it home. Take me back to uncertain where I can heal my soul. By you, Texas, with a memory real strong, straight up as the fences. This sweet little town that's soft in my memory, and it's dragging me down, and it's dragging me down. And I wanna go down the Cypress Sins, wanna be washed clean of all my sins. Some call it heaven, but I call it home. Take me back to uncertain where I can heal my soul Grew up on East Mountain Over by the old iron mine Where the clay turns red And the air smells like pines My folks raised me right Told me all about Jesus Guess I stopped believing Guess I stopped believing And I want to go down The Cypress sins Want to be washed clean Of all my sins Some call it heaven But I call it home Take me back to uncertain Where I can heal my soul They say the traveling man ain't got no home When I'm done with my promenade, well I know where I'm going Where a man feels pure and free as a river Where I can heal my soul Where I can heal my soul And I want to go down with the cypress Okay. Someone wanted to know how I throw a cast net off. So all I do, I loop my rope. Then I find, bring the net like so. And there's a choke in the net. You can see the net gets thinner at this point here. So I choke it. And then I take this and I put it over like so. So it's over my thumb and behind the net. When I throw, I twist my hand. So let me show you. I'm going to throw it at you so you can get a better
<laughs> Interesting thing, I'd never used spinning reels really until this year. Or no, I used them down in El Salvador. But I started to use them up here. The retrieval rate was awesome. And using braid, you can get some really good distance. It is a pump, yeah? No, a bluefish. <laughs> awesome. What do you think of that then? Well, that's a nice one well, for here. Huh? That's a nice one for down here. Yeah. Look at those teeth. Should we kijimi him? Yeah. Because she wants to. Yeah. Use it all. Explain what Icky Jimmy is. Okay, what I'm going to do is kill a fish off by going through his brain. But normally what I do is I look for the triangle of the head. So the eyes should be about in there somewhere. I'm going to go in there, hopefully it kills him off nice and quick. Then I'm going to bleed him out. His heart's going to be around here somewhere. So it should be in there, like you can tell when you find it normally. There it is. There he goes. Yeah. That fluid comes out. He's done. So his heart is still going to be beating. So what you want to do if you can is go in here and cut. There's a vein that runs through there. There it goes. Oh. You see that? Yeah. And that's going to clean him out. Nicely. What we're using is a DCD3. Again, just a little bit of shrimp. I always put the big bit on the bottom and the little bit further up. It helps in the casting, keeps it more aerodynamic. So the little bit of tail that's left, it goes on there with a fish bite. I put a fish bite on because it helps hold the shrimp on during the cast if it's soft. I think what happens is the, as soon as it hits the water, the perch will be nibbling that soft shrimp. That's what gets the attention. If they get all the shrimp, we've still got fish bites and we know that works. So, we're in a win-win. Load her up. So what we've got is a Daiwa spinning reel. This is the Soltis 4500. It's got maybe, I don't know, 400 yards of braid. But I use, this is, 30 pound tippet, which is going to take the uh, abrasion of the bar, which the braid doesn't. So I use like 30 foot of that on the rod, using the cannon, of course. Mainly due to the thin braid you can use. This is that Diver Super Braid, uh, sort of offshore braid, but I use it on the beach. It works really well. I'm going to put a, we caught some whiting, I'll show you in a sec. And I'm um, chopped them up and I want to show you how we use a whiting as cut bait. So if you look in here, we've got some nice size whiting. I went with a small one. You normally get them, they've got guts in like this. I cut them into that size chunk, I then remove the gut sack. And cut that fin nicely. So you got a nice clean castable piece of bait. Okay, and what I'm going to use is a PRIG1. When I go up on the bait size, you need a bigger sinker, so I've gone up to five ounces. I'm going to put this on. This is on a DDX. Coming through the soft tissue and out through the skin. So that's where it's at. Now, you've got an impact shield. All you do is go to a loop and put the loop into the impact shield. That allows the bait to go aerodynamic during the car. Load your sinker, five ounces. We're going to start out as a PRIG1. 
I'm using the uh, breakaway GDX Daiwa C-Line SHJ20. This has now been superseded with a newer version which is really beautiful but it's a good all-round setup. Well, let me go and do a cut. I'm going to put it out. There's a suck out over there to my left. I'm going to bang this bait out so it's out there in it. That's right where I want it. A lot of people want to know we sell these high dollar aluminum sand spikes. Believe me, I've lost maybe a thousand odd dollars more of fishing, two thousand dollars worth of fishing tackle that's been taken because of bad placement of sand spike, forgetting the drag, stuff like that. Brand new rods and reels just boom, because you never know what's going to hit. So you want a really good sand spike, I pay go for the aluminum ones. When you put them in, put the B out, like so, because that's your area of resistance. Just stick it in and you just move it backwards and forwards and work it down and that ain't going nowhere. I hope. <laughs>